guys welcome back uh, video 10 of this uh, advanced level framework development course and uh, in this video I'm going to talk on how to create a thread safe extent report so what we spoke in the last video is uh, how to create a thread safe test space where we did uh, created a browser factory driver factory and by using thread local we did create a thread safe test space now in this video uh, as I said test base uh, and under test base itself we are going to create something new called as thread safe extent report okay now the question is why do we need thread safe extent report first okay before that if i go to my previous framework uh, what i created i'm going to borrow the code from that because i don't want to repeat that that is already covered in the basic level framework you can uh, have a look on that video so here you can see what I'm doing is I'm creating the object of extent report where I'm creating it you see extent and okay I'm creating the object under object repo and that's something static extent report I'm creating a static object okay and the same object I'm going to refer across all test cases okay but the uh, situation here is I'm executing only one test case at a time okay now let us assume a situation where I am executing only let's say two test cases in parallel okay so let's say my test case 1 is getting executed at the same time test case 2 is getting executed let's say login test case of test case 1 is getting executed login step and at the same time login step of test case 2 is getting executed or whatever different different uh, test steps we might have okay now what we are doing is we are creating let's say multiple objects okay we are creating multiple objects of extents okay extent report basically i would say we are let's say i am going to create multiple objects of extent not extent report but extent test because we are going to uh, create multiple tests within single report okay now here the situation is going to be uh, if i am creating a object uh, or I would say let's say if I go in this particular way if it creates this particular object of extent report or let's say extent test then what will happen is uh, the, the, the object name is going to be common right extent test test object name is going to be common now the problem is going to be which test case will refer which object because for this TC1 I would be needing a separate object of test and TC2 I would be needing separate object of the test because this extent test object is something which will get created newly for each and every test case okay so uh, there will be the confusion now uh, this test case one will look for okay which object which object I will uh, log my result in test case two will look okay which result I will log my object in. in fact both will log it into the single test case and ultimately will not see the proper report proper logging okay uh, that's the reason because we are running test cases in parallel multiple test cases at a time we need to have a thread safety test case one should log all the messages related to test case one into the test case one object when i say test case one object what that mean is for that let me open my extent report if i have any sample i believe i should have something okay so here you see i have three different test cases okay so that means these are three different test case uh, extent test objects okay for one test case i will have one extent test object second test second object third test third object now if i go with the current approach what we have followed in our code that is making this as a private uh, sorry static and calling it directly what will happen is it will create the object three times but that is going to be with the same name so ultimately all the things will get logged into the same test it will not create will not create let's say three instances or even let's assume it create three instances because that is something when it will originate but later on when it logs actually it is going to uh, log it into the same test case okay could be the last one because it will refer the uh, latest object okay you can give a try how it uh, behaves but this is something how it should behave okay now coming to uh, okay now uh, okay that that's the reason basically we are creating thread safe object so now what my aim is for if i'm running let's say three test cases in parallel it should create three extent test object and each extent test object i mean the first test case should refer first object second test case refer only second object and third one should refer only third object okay that's how uh, it should be for parallel test 
execution i mean there should be, there might be some different different approaches but this is what i do follow okay and now let us go uh, how we went in our uh, let me open my test base for my latest framework okay so for making a uh, driver as a thread safety what we did is we did use this something called a thread local now i'm going i'm going to do the exactly same thing in the first case what we did is we made a web driver object as a uh, thread uh, thread safe right and in the current case what i'm going to do is i'm going to make the object of extend test as a thread safe right now there are two different things extend test and extend report you see something called as extend report and something called as extend test if i go to object repo here i have defined them extend report and extend test now extend report is something that should be common that is specific to report if i want one report there will be only one extend report object extend test object is something which is specific to test cases right so i should uh, make this extend test as a thread safe okay how let's see what i'm going to do that um, what i'm going to do is under test space under my advanced level framework under test space i am going to create one class uh, called as give me a minute let me create a new class and the class name what i'm going to do is uh, extend report ng something okay extend report ng some meaningful name we can give or maybe the same name extend setup we can give okay could be uh, the same name now what i'm going to do is i'm going to borrow the code complete code from here let me copy this okay the only difference is going to be okay only difference is going to be earlier i did define this extend reports object okay and this extend test object under object factory here right now these objects i'm going to define into my class okay how let's see okay so as of now i am only interested into this extent report so let me copy this extent reports and let me put it over here okay and that is going to be let's say public static extent reports extent and i should be good with that okay maybe i can remove this public because that should be specific to let's say my specific class this should be i'm um, should be good with this okay now uh extend report set of extend report the, uh, here i'm just uh, form i'm just trying to get the uh, date time stamp so that every time it will generate the new report with the actual date that's what it will do then we are creating the extend spark reporter so again you can go through the documentation of extend report extend spark reporter is the default reporter what they have now they are coming coming up with many paid reporter html reporter is deprecated but still you can use uh, you can give a try on html reporter as well but uh, this is what the default reporter i am using extend spark reporter and what i am going to do is i am going to create the object of extend reports and attaching the reporter over here and uh, i'm just doing some configurations document title that is my uh, report uh, what i would say let me let me show you report okay and one more thing i would like to add in this particular report is some system information okay so you see document title that is a uh, title of this particular web page and second one is report name that's what i have mentioned over here you see document title and report name and the final one is the theme basically what kind of theme you want dark theme or a normal theme you can choose that one more thing what i would like to set is so in the current report we if i go to the dashboard i did not specify it in which uh, environment i did this execution on which browser i did uh, on which operating system the test cases are executed the test cases are executed by which user i did not mentioned any information like that we can log that information as well how i'll show you what we need to do is uh, here okay so if i do this extend extend dot there is something called as set system information set system info okay and here what info i am going to set is so it accepts a value in key value pair so as i said let's say first value i want to mention something like 
uh, on which environment test cases are executed so i'll say uh, executed where is my cursor executed on environment and here executed on environment in the sense on which url the test cases are executed and here i should pass my url okay how to get that we'll see uh, likewise i should be let's say adding couple of more things uh, for example let's say on which browser test cases are executed okay and here i should specify my browser I am going to specify the actual values, don't worry. Third thing, I will say executed on operating system, which operating system it is executed and executed by user, by which user test cases are executed. Okay, so it, it, it depends what and all information you want to add. Whatever static information you want to add on to the report, you can add that. Now, how to get the user? So, uh, user in the sense on the machine on which you are executing the test case that's the system user name right and how i can get the system username if i do system that's the system property right so i'll say system dot get property and it should be user dot name something we use user dot dir right to get the user directory so here we have a property called as user dot name that will give me the current system username now in the similar way i can get the operating system as well because operating system is something system property itself so i can i can do something like uh, system dot get property and that should be something like os dot name i am not 100 percent sure but let's confirm on that let's see in the report we'll see that now the two remaining thing browser and url they are not system specific that is something which i am going to specify from my side okay and from where that information i'm going to get i'm going to get that information from my uh, resources source test resources config dot properties and this is my url what i'm going to get and this is the browser what i'm going to get and these in for this information i want to add into my report okay so i should be putting that information here so for this we should have something called as properties operations yes we already have that okay and this is the static method we have so what i'll do is i will use this class property operations uh, where it is yeah so let's say if i want to get the url what i'll do is property operations dot there is a method called as get property value by key and here what's my uh, url so i'll say url i'm just copying the key from here that's url okay this is the key and for browser it is browser let me put it here the same thing for browser basically Okay, what's this header? Get property value by key and it's, it's asking me to throw the exception. Should be good. Okay, so now by adding this particular information, what is going to happen is on my actual report, what I have, it is going to create some more content over here where it will add a static content, whatever, whatever we have added, all this stuff executed on environment, browser, OS and user. That should be helpful for understanding where the test cases are executed and all information okay now i'm good with this so what we have, what we have done is we have created a class extend report ng which is returning me a extend report object we have not done anything as of now which is related to threat safety okay now what i'll do is let me close this properties operations as well let me close this okay now next thing what we are going to do is we are going to create something called as threat safe object of your extend reports what i'll do is that under test space i will create a class called as uh, let me create extent extent factory okay any meaningful name you can give and what i'm going to do is i'm going to borrow the complete code from here from my driver factory what's the diff the only difference is going to be what parameter you are going to set we will modify those stuff okay the first thing the constructor should be of current class so let me 
change it so it should be my current class constructor that is extend factor good and the object should be again of my current class so why i am making why i wrote all this stuff you can refer my uh, video for this uh, driver factory should be last last but one video you can have a look now uh, okay here as well i am returning extend factory good okay now again one more change is going to be here so now under thread local what object i am going to store earlier i did stored web driver because i wanted to make a, a driver as a thread save now in this case i want to make my extend test as a thread save right so what i am going to do is instead of web driver i am going to make something called as extend test okay that should be coming from here okay and the same thing i should pass over here okay why i made it as extend test because as i explained earlier if i am running multiple test cases in parallel let's say three test cases in parallel i should have three different object of extend test because extend test object is going to be used for logging the information for all our test cases okay uh, now again here uh, instead of web driver i am going to call extend test extend test and all okay now extend test the method name i'll say get extend and uh, here instead of driver i'll say extend okay and it should be extend dot get and extend dot set and it should be i'll say set extend i'm just changing the names and uh, here instead of driver palm i'll say extend object or i'll say extend test extend test object okay and the same object we are going to pass for set okay so this is what i am going to do and just give me a minute let me check if i need to do anything else uh, we just need to get the extent and set the extent this closing the stuff uh, do we need that we are going to close extent report not extend test okay should be, should be good enough we don't need this okay let me go through quickly on this because this is what the uh, main intention of this video was extend factory uh, is the class what we created for making my extend test object as a thread safe now when i say thread safe i should create a multiple like i'm going to create multiple objects for my uh, multiple test cases and each and every object should be stored into something called as thread local okay that's what we understood uh, how we are using singleton design pattern factory design pattern so it will create the first object it will uh, put it into a thread local thread local uses internal uh, thread local hash map uh, you can refer my in previous video so it internally have some hash map under which it does store all the objects into key value pair so initially what we will do is before before we begin or once we begin our test execution initially we will call this method called as set extend whatever object we have created for extend test we are going to set into this extend test okay by using this set extend method uh, i mean in the thread local we will set that and once it is set i'm good now by using this get extend i should be able to call it wherever i want right and that is going to be very much thread safe okay so let's see how it works now and from where we are going to call we are going to call it from listeners that is something we'll pick it as a next video okay so i believe this should be helpful to you guys if you have any questions on this like why i why i wrote something like this refer my uh, video where i talked about driver factory that should be my uh, which video it should be my uh, yeah this particular eighth video driver factory you should be able to understand on that okay so yeah i think that's it uh, in this particular video next video i'll uh, we will talk about how we can call this extend test extend report ng and all from listeners implementation listeners class implementation okay so yeah stay tuned uh, do subscribe to my youtube channel thank you